this is Raju here. Welcome once again to the video tutorial series. In this video, we are going to cover what is known as GC Freight Master Calculator, which will help you in incorporating the correct rates for the 7C GC parcel business. Let's go through this module. Now here this is the module and the title of this module is GC Freight Master Calculator for 7C GC Paid and 2K Bookings. Now if you look at this window, what you will see is you are not able to see the entire module in the window. To enable you to see the entire module without the need to scroll up and down, what you have to do is you have to go up to the menu here and click on one of the tabs, right click on one of the tabs and you check mark minimize ribbon that is one way of doing it another way of doing it is there is a small arrow here on the right hand top of the excel sheet if you click that once it opens the ribbon completely and if you click the up arrow it minimizes the ribbon the second the third way of doing it is come again to one of the tabs in the ribbon menu and double click it. Once you double click it, if the ribbon is maximized, it will be minimized and if it is maximized, it will be minimized. Now here the ribbon is maximized, go here again and double click, it is minimized so that you have more space at the bottom here and you can see the entire window. Okay, that's the first part of it. Next, we shall go on to see the layout of this particular module. This essentially contains three parts. The first part is this part where you can see the black cursor moving. This is the area where you need to input some of the data to fill out the GC note. You will have to fill in the details in the yellow marked cells. The next part of this layout will be this portion where based on the inputs that you have put it will throw up some of the calculations which will be taken up to be put up in the third part of the module here which says the amount as per the various rate components and then rounded off to the nearest rupee. These are the final figures that you need to enter in the GC note. Now let's go through the first part of this module. Here what you have to do is you have to fill in on the yellow columns. In the yellow columns again there are two types of cells. One which is here which is shown as uh, the select uh, booking station is highlighted in green color, select delivery station is highlighted in green color, volumetric times is highlighted in green color and width pass is highlighted in green color. Wherever these cells in this particular part of it is highlighted it shows that the cells in the yellow column have a different kind of field. It has what is known as the moment you put the cursor on the yellow field which is highlighted in the green color, you will find a drop down arrow coming up here. Which means this cell has got preloaded data and you will have to select only from the preloaded data. For example, next go to the next cell that is the select delivery station the moment you click on the uh, yellow colored cell of select delivery station you will find this arrow coming up which again shows that the data is preloaded in this cell and which and you will have to select it from the drop down menu actual weight does not show a green color cell therefore you will have to input the actual weight what has been declared by the client. Similarly here in this volumetric times you have the drop down cell. I will later explain to you what volumetric weight times is about. Then you have the next green colored cell and if you click on the corresponding yellow cell you will have it pass yes or no. The other cells which are not correspondingly highlighted in green color show that you will have to input the cell manually which where the data is not preloaded. Okay. 
Now the second part is once you select the station, so let's say you select the station booking station. You are in Namakkal, let's say. Let's go to now to select uh, the station. What you have to do is click on the arrow mark down, and the drop down menu will open up. Use the up arrow or down arrow to move up and down. And once the booking station is highlighted in blue color, press enter, and that station will be recorded here as R. Let's say booking station is R N E, and the delivery station, let's say, is we select airport. Suppose you want to book a consignment to airport. Select high high airport and hit enter. The moment you hit here, you will have in the second part of this module, which shows the delivery station code of R N E of airport. That is eight hundred and fifty four. The delivery station abbreviation as A R C. The rate per kg, that is the rate per kg for a booking from R N E to airport, and the transshipment, whether it is a direct route or it involves transshipment, and if it involves transshipment, how many transshipments are involved? If it, in case more than one transshipment is involved, it will be shown as T1, T2, and T3. T1 stands for one transshipment. T2 stands for two transshipments. P3 stands for three transshipments. The next cell which shows the result five is a route. For example, if you get T1 here, it will show you where Army has to dispatch the consignment, and that station in turn will send the material to the other station. So let's say when we select Army to airport, Army is a booking station, airport is a delivery station, and you get D here. It means Airport Arni has got a direct bus, and he can load it directly to airport. Now let us say you select some other station. Let's say Avinash Tirupur. It shows T two. T two means it has to be transferred twice. That means Arni will have to load the material to Vellore, and Vellore in turn will load it to Salem, and Salem will then load it in a direct bus to Avinash from Salem. Let's say we select another station, Bodhi. Our need to Bodhi. It involves three transshipments, as indicated by the cell here, known as uh, shown as T3. In this case, Arni will send the material to Vellore. Vellore will send to Trichy. Trichy will send to Madurai, and Madurai in turn will load the material to Bodhi. Let's say we select another station where T1 is involved. Let's say T1 station would be Bangalore. So you get T1 here the moment you hit Bangalore. The moment you select Bangalore as your delivery station, T1 indicates that there is only one transshipment, which means that Arni will have to send the metal to Vellore, and Vellore in turn will send it to Bangalore, Shanti Nagar. This is how this information, result one, two, three, and four, and five, will show you what are the details that you have got to enter in the G C N O. The first part is the station code. Bangalore station code is nine forty nine, and the delivery station abbreviation is B A N. The rate is eighty two paisa. It involves T one, that is transshipment. One transshipment is involved, and we are the booking station has to. Send the material to Vellore, and Vellore will in turn send the material to Bangalore. So this will be clear in terms in this in uh, by with the help of this guide. What will happen is uh, not only the booking clerk or the booking station uh, will be able to prepare the jisnor properly, but also be helpful in the operations part of it. The next part of the cell is the actual weight. Based on the goods forwarding note received from the customer, the booking station has to fill in the actual weight. Here, there is an inbuilt feature. Actual weight should be minimum one. If a customer gives zero weight, what is it that you are going to book? So, the moment you get zero, let us say, for example, although it is practically not there, but theoretically, if you have to look at it, you cannot get a consignment with zero weight, is it not? So if you get zero weight, what happens? What does this model tell you? Model tells you that you can't book because it is zero weight. See in this second part of it, wherever you get a red highlighted remark, it means that you cannot book the consignment 
there is some problem or not. So let's say you have given a metal weighing 5 kgs. Moment you hit 5 kgs, it says accept the booking. Next is, suppose the 5 kgs weight that has been given to you, it could be actually in weight basis on weight basis or it could be a very uh, a, a consignment that is occupying a lot of space but that means it is bulky. Normally for bulky consignments what happens you see we take the dimensions that is the length, breadth, uh, height, multiply the these three factors and then arrive at the volumetric conversion based on a certain formula. All this is cumbersome. Based on experience what has been decided is either you make multiply the actual weight by a rate factor by a multiplying factor of 1 or 2 or 2.5 depending upon the bulkiness of the consignment. In case the consignment is not bulky, the multiplying factor will be 1. That means 5 kgs will be 5 kgs. It shows here 5 kgs. Suppose it is bulky, you take the multiplying factor 2, it will be shown as 10 kgs. Since the minimum weight that you have to charge is 50 kgs, it will be charged for 50 kgs. The multiplying factor will be here will be taken instead of taking being taken 2. Even if you take it as 1, it will be the same 50 kgs. But let's say the actual weight is around 40 kgs. And it is a consignment that is heavy in nature, so the multiplying factor will be 1. Suppose it is bulky, you choose 2 as a multiplying factor and it goes to 80 and it will be charged for 80 kgs. Let's say the consignment is an odd figure. Let's say it is 46 kgs. What do you do then? 46 kgs into 2 comes to 92 kgs. 92 kgs is then converted to the next nearest higher pi. That means 92 kgs will be charged for 95 kgs. In fact, anything above 90 up to 95 will be charged as 95. For example, if it is 91 kgs, it will be charged for 95. If it is 96 kgs, it will be charged for 100. The next higher 5 kgs, it has to be rounded off. Then you have the number of particles. It is the same logic here. Party has to give you at least one article to book a consignment. Suppose he gives you zero articles, what will happen? It will have, uh, it will have, it, uh, there is a remark that is thrown up here, it says you can't book and it is appearing in red and here it says check in quotes. That means you can't book this consignment unless you receive at least one article. So you change this to one article. Suppose let's say the customer has given one article. One article. Value exceeds limit. I'll come to that later on. The next one is with pass consignment. With pass consignment, there, is, there are only two choices. The consignment can either be booked as with pass or without with pass. If it is booked as with pass, you will get a rate here of 10 rupees to be charged. To book it as no, select no, that means it is not a with pass booking and you will get a rate of zero. Zero, zero is the rate that you should apply. Then you have what is known as the door delivery charge and door collection charge. This is based on the individual customer and the agent. In case the consignment has been booked on door delivery, you will have to charge door delivery charge. In case the customer has asked you to arrange door collection, then you have to put in the door collection charges here manually. The next cell is the value of the consignment. There is a limit to the value of the consignment we can carry on a bus load. The limit that has been fixed is 50,000 rupees per article. It should not exceed beyond 50,000 rupees per article. Let's say 51,000 rupees is the value of the consignment and you have received one article. Since it has increased 51,000 rupees, you will get a remark here showing that value exceeds limit. See, here this warning here, it shows when consignment value exceeds 50,000 rupees, you will get this remark. Suppose the value of the consignment is in 51,000, but you have received two articles. There is no problem because the value of the article has now come down to 25,000 rupees 500. Therefore, you can accept the consignment. Now, let's say the value of the consignment on the extreme case is zero. 
consignment must have a minimum value of rupees 1. See, this is the red highlighted remark that comes up here. It shows that warning when consignment value is 0, this is the content. That means you must write a consignment value whether it is with the minimum value of 1 rupee. You can't have 0 value. When a customer gives you a consignment, let's say it is a business, uh, it's a commercial transaction. Let's say a customer from one dealer is sending metal to another dealer. It's a commercial transaction and it will be accompanied by an invoice. Whatever the value shown in the invoice has to be written here. And with the total number of articles, if the value exceeds 50,000 rupees per article, then you cannot book the consignment. You have to split the consignment and make it in two different GC notes. Similarly, when personal goods are being given, it's not a commercial transaction. Suppose I send a material to another station which contains my personal effects, household effects. It's not a commercial transaction. In spite of that, you must assign a value as declared by the customer saying that the value of the total goods that he is sending the material to us, to us is around 20,000 or 30,000 or 40,000 which has to be incorporated here in this cell. So let's say we make a figure of 50,000. Let's say 50,000. Once you have 50,000 here, you will show you the slab of 50,000 and the value set charge will be 50,000. Once these inputs are given here and you see that there are no red remarks coming up here, it means that the booking is correct and these are the rates that are finally given here which have to be included in the GC note. You need not have to make any calculations further. So you just follow the simple system and you can do it. There is also uh, a calculation for the service tax. As all of you know, if the total value of the total freight is more than 750 rupees, 750 rupees or more than 750 rupees, service tax at the rate of 12.36 percent has to be charged. In this case, the freight of the of this particular GC note comes to 209. Since it is less than 750, the service tax shown here is 00, and the total is 209. For example, there is a consignment. Let's say you have booked it up to 500 kgs, and here you will find that the subtotal comes to 1376, which means it is more than 750. Service tax is automatically calculated, and you get 171 total into. 1547. Let's say we come closer to 750 and see what happens. Still showing. Let's say it's 300 kgs bulky consignment, the price is 860, 107 in the service tax. Let's say we make it 250 rupees. 250 is the actual wage. It comes to 731. Since it is less than 750, service tax component does not appear here. Let's say it is 260 kgs. See, it has gone beyond 750. It is showing 757. Service tax is calculated for 94 rupees. Okay. This is all about the GC freight master calculator for 7 CGC paid and two tokens. There is one more built in feature in the sense that. Uh, logically, RNE cannot book to RNE. So, what happens? When a consignment is booked, a customer comes and tells you, you book one station, one material from RNE to RNE. You can't book same station with this. Similarly, at certain places like say Chennai, there is a bus stand and there are about 15 to 20 independent agents. So, let's say we select Chennai Ambatur. Chennai Ambatu cannot book any consignment to any station within Chennai. For example, a customer asks you to book a consignment Chennai to Ambatu from Chennai Ambatu to Chennai Tinagar. Let's see what it shows. It says you can't book same station. So, uh, adequate precaution has been taken to ensure that the material is not booked to the same station and you will not be able to do it because the model tells you you can't book and here it will say sorry basic freight column it says sorry and such as outside will say sorry you have the red remark coming up here saying that you can't book same station.
Now this module has been worked out based on the existing network of agents and the existing rate structure. When any changes take place, that is new agents are added or some agents are deleted or when there is a change in the rate structure, a new module will be updated with the revised changes which will be put up in the website. You can download it and start using it by discarding the old one. I hope this will be useful for all of you and by using this there will not be any mistakes in preparation of these notes and there will be uniformity when you charge rates to the various clients at various locations. Thank you and bye.